Hello friends, Tara here for another weekly vlog. I'm having my mimosa pre-workout. I have sort of a good news, bad news situation. I'm moving the coffee table out of the way so I can work out. I have to go to work today and it's gonna be one of those work days where I'm there for breakfast, lunch, dinner, 9 a.m. to possibly who knows, like midnight or something. I might have to work like 16 hours today, but I might not have to go back for two weeks. Kind of a trade-off. I do hate eating all my meals at work though. That is difficult for me as someone who has some issues with food. I don't like doing that. Cause if I can't like, if I'm rushed and I can't enjoy my food, I don't feel as much that I ate. Like I don't feel like I really ate. So it makes me hungrier later. It's just, I shouldn't complain. I'm just saying I don't love eating all my meals at work. Of course, I don't know how I'm gonna work out with um, a whole pep on my yoga mat. How am I supposed to use this? You have a whole couch or a chair. Why do you have to steal my yoga mat? Something that's been really helpful and I highly recommend if you only do workouts from YouTube or you do entire days of workouts from YouTube. Because I like to do shorter videos and then just do multiples of them like Blogilates, I make a playlist for every single day. I just make the playlist title the date. I keep them private and whatever day it is, I just navigate to that playlist and do that workout. And even if there's only two videos, it just saves you so much time. I use a Roku, so it, typing on it is a nightmare. And sometimes like connecting YouTube to the Roku on my phone is very finicky and it just slows the process down. So I highly recommend if you like make a workout plan. Well, first of all, I highly recommend making a workout plan so every day you're not like, what am I doing today? Cause you probably won't do it. When you make a workout plan, write it down or whatever you do and then immediately go make YouTube playlists if those workouts are from YouTube. And once in a while I'll do like these old fitness DVDs that I have but even that's easy because it's pretty self-explanatory. You just put it in the DVD player and hit play. <laughs> so yeah, secretly I'm hoping that I will be done by 9 p.m. which would make it a 12 hour workday. If we go to 11, I have to take my contacts out and then that's really gonna suck because then I'm gonna have my glasses. I'm gonna have to drive home in my glasses, which I hate. And I'm gonna have to walk alone to my car in the parking garage, which is at least a 12 minute walk alone at night in a sketchy part of the city. Not great. And if you're thinking, Tara, don't you have coworkers that would be walking to somewhere similar that you could walk with? Well, there is a coworker that parks in the same garage as me, but it's a male coworker that's 15 years older than me, and he is the person, and I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my channel, when I started working there, he took a picture on his phone of my driver's license in front of other people claiming it was to teach me a lesson about leaving stuff out that other people can see. I had my driver's license in my wallet that has like the clear ID uh, pocket, like a lot of wallets do, so that you don't have to like take it out to show people. That was sitting upside down on my desk, which meant he had to touch my wallet, flip it over, take out his phone, and take a picture and I'm not talking about my work ID, because we have work IDs. He took a picture of my driver's license with my photo, my full name, my address, my height, my weight, my license number. Like there's so much you can do with all of that information combined. And he took a picture of it and then I confronted him about it and he refused to let me see his phone to prove that he deleted it. And when I told my supervisor about it, he did nothing. Sorry if I don't want him walking me to my car at night alone. Cause then, which he probably already knows what car I drive cause he's super creepy. He'll have my 
make and model of my car and my license plate as well, as well as my driver's license. So I've learned to not talk about any personal stuff at work. I have two people I talk to. They're both female. One is around my age and one is a very, very sweet older woman who I love. Those are the only two people I talk about anything with at work. All the men, surface level, I do not ask them about their weekend. They know not to ask me about mine. It sucks that it has to be that way, but when your employer isn't gonna protect you or like even tell another employee not to take pictures or touch your wallet, then what other choice do I have? So I've been super guarded at this job and I even get nervous leaving my purse around. Like I get nervous going to the bathroom and leaving my purse. Like it's at the point where I don't even bring my planner to work sometimes because I'm afraid someone's gonna like open it and look at it. I just don't have any trust for anyone there. And it's sad, but it just has to be that way. I even have the passcode on my Apple Watch in case I need to take it off because I just don't trust anyone there to not go through my personal stuff. I just don't feel like totally safe. It's just an icky feeling. So this is how I pack for work when I don't know what time I'm coming home. First of all, you dress very comfy. I wear the loosest clothes I have that are still pass as acceptable for the workplace. In my purse, I have an empty water bottle that I'll fill when I get there. I have contact solution in case I'm there past 11. And then this is my contact case. And if you've never seen one like this, it's because the contact solution I use has to neutralize over six hours and it can't be tipped upside down. So that's fun to travel with, like I might have to. I have to bring my glasses in case I have to take my contacts out so I can drive home. I have my mask that I'm gonna wear all day. I have a LaCroix, I'm not gonna pull that out. I have my notebook so I can like write my to-do list for the week or else I'll have a panic attack. Sunglasses, hand sanitizer, multiple pens, headphones for the walk-in because it's like 12 minutes. And then in my lunchbox, I have my morning snack, my lunch, my afternoon snack, my dinner. And then in here I have a smoothie, which is my breakfast. And then in this I have an iced coffee and then hopefully I finish this on the drive there so that I don't have to carry two drinks in for 12 minutes plus my purse plus my lunch bag. Mike is super excited because he kind of out of the blue bought a kayak for us. I personally don't really need one because I have a stand up paddle board but all he's had is this old canoe that like needs patching and stuff so he kind of has been wanting one and he bought one and he's literally like a little kid every time he hears like a big truck or something he gets so excited thinking the kayak's here but it's supposed to be here like within the hour so it's coming Oh, that's like nothing. It's before 9 a.m. I already did my workout, but I'm trying to get some stuff done this morning because I have to go into work for the afternoon. And um, I had plans to see Stephanie, my best friend. I think we're still gonna get together, but just after work, it's a little inconvenient because I kind of have to be like, I don't know when I'm getting out. So I hate doing that to people where you're like, I don't know what time, but just be ready. I hate that, but she's okay with it. I knew she wouldn't be mad or anything. She understands it's my job, but I'm working on something for the video that's coming out in two weeks, two weeks from yesterday. You're allowed to laugh, but you need to remember this is my first time doing this. <laughs> So the video that's coming out in two weeks, which means it won't be out yet when you see this. So I've been experimenting with felting and I was making these little pumpkins, but then I decided to make one into a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I think it's cute. I know it's not perfect or anything, but like for my first try, 
it's pretty good. I think it's so cute. But yeah, you guys know I'm obsessed with the Sorry Girls. And a few months ago, Becky from the Sorry Girls felted a mini version of her dog. And ever since then, I've wanted to try it. So all I've been making is these little pumpkins. <laughs> But they're so easy, so I decided to include it in one of my videos because I think everyone should know how easy this is. Because it's just fun. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this one's a little f***ed up. It's okay, I'll just face it this way. See, it looks normal. Turn it around. Uh-oh, what happened? So it's Saturday, or, <laughs> sorry. So it's Sunday, but it feels like Saturday because for the first time in our relationship, Mike and I both have Labor Day off together. We both used to work at a news station. News doesn't get a day off. Like there's people there 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. But sometimes on holidays, they'll have less staff than usual. So this year he flipped a coin and got Labor Day off. And we're gonna be taking the kayak our new kayak out on the river today and we're also going to be taking our friend's kayak that we've been borrowing for a month or two because i was going to use my stand-up paddle board but it's so far back in our screen house that we can't really get to it until we get rid of some other stuff and it's like a bee's nest is near it so it's kind of like a situation so i was like whatever i'll just use the other kayak and Honestly, I'm a little relieved because I'm not feeling super athletic today and stand-up paddleboarding does take a lot of like effort whereas kayaking isn't as much. <laughs> The first outing with the kayak was really fun. Mike said it was comfortable. I don't know how comfortable I would be in it because normally when I use a kayak, it has adjustable foot rests so I can bring them like really close to me because I'm only 4'11", so I'm pretty short. And the new kayak doesn't have that, but <laughs> Mike pointed out to me that when I was riding in the kayak today, my feet were like up above the edge, like I was just reclining while I was rowing. So I guess it doesn't really matter but it is something to consider if I ever get my own. For the time being, we still have our friends. He hasn't asked for it back yet. And um, we have the stand-up paddle board, so it's not like I can't go out on the water if I want to. It's just a matter of standing or sitting. But tomorrow is Labor Day, and like I said, it's our first Labor Day off together. We're just gonna have a chill day. We're not really doing anything fun. Definitely nothing worth vlogging. So I'm gonna end the vlog here so tomorrow I can focus on having a nice day off with my fiance. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>